Okay guys, so first lesson today is going to be basic music theory level 101, level you've never seen music before. So for some of you, this is going to be something you know a lot about, and some of you, you will know absolutely nothing about. So, and I don't have my straight line maker on this one, so bear with me. So the first thing to remember, and there's a crooked in the line, but that's okay. Go back and fix that one. There we go. Much better. Is that we have our quote unquote music staff. The staff always has five lines and four spaces, no matter what. Okay. And pay attention because this is what you're going to be taking your first test on. So we have our five lines, albeit some of them are very crooked. And we have our four spaces. When you are counting, you are counting from the bottom up. So this is line number one. That's a little smaller than I thought it'd be. Line number two, line number three, four, and number five. Space number one, space number two, space number three, space number four. All right. That's important. Please note that this is an important plot point here. The music staff is divided up into measures. I really need to fix that one. That's bothering me because I'm OCD like that. So let's get that a little more straight. There we go. That'll work for now. It'll be good enough. Okay. So these are measures. This is a single bar line. All right. Now, this is called, there's two of them, so I guess you can figure out what that is, a double bar line. Okay. Singles divide into measures. Doubles indicate a new section of music. So if you have a song that is a medley of three different songs from a movie, so if those of you in advanced band, the Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, no one else really has it. Well, if you have uh, zero period has planets, so that would be an example as well. So those are two possibilities. Now, although this one's not going to have look as well put together, This is a final bar line. And as you can make, guess, it means the end of the song. Okay, so we have single bar line, measures, double bar line, final bar line. We have a music staff. And that should just about cover it. Now, we're going to see if this works. We're going to flip the page. Hey, look at there. Now, we also have a concept that some of our students learned recently. And by the time this outbreak is over, I will know how to draw a straight line. Won't that be fun for everybody? You guys will actually be to read my writing on the board going forward after this is done with. All right, so we have a new staff. Now, if you see a marimba or a piano, you know that there are a lot more notes than what you would normally use. So, and a staff only has five lines of four spaces. So, we have our one, two, three, four, five, and our one, two, three, four here. Now, and I'm going to use whole notes for this example. So, just bear with me if you've never seen them before. This is okay. This is okay. Take a moment, pause the video, and think about why. Okay, for those who didn't figure it out, this is okay because it still touches the staff. Now, what do we do when we can't do that? Well, we have these little invisible lines 
that show up when needed called ledger lines. And ledger lines show up when a note needs to be off the staff and can't touch the staff. So those of you who play tuba have seen these. If you play trombone, you've seen these. If you play viola or violin, you've seen these. If you play clarinet, you might, yeah, you've seen it on C if you're in beginner band. So at this point, pretty much everybody probably has seen these with a couple exceptions. Drummers being the first and foremost. You can have as many ledger lines as are needed. And so if you need, if you have a note that's way down here, this is valid. This is okay. What's not okay is this. Let's just let's change that to green just to make sure we know that that's okay too. Okay, so to review, we have six or seven terms that we need to remember. Oh, not in green though. Don't want to do it in green. I prefer black for major stuff. Music staff. Measures. Measures are sections of music. You know, each measure is like a word or a sentence. A number of beats and a measure. We'll get more into that when we get into time signatures later. Single bar lines. Double bar lines. Final bar line and ledger lines. Okay, so your formative quiz for this week on Friday will have this, a small section about the musical alphabet, and you'll be required to be able to draw and label a staff, label ledger lines, and insert whole notes where able. And again, whole notes are just a circle. So, uh, we will, there will be a lesson uploaded on Wednesday or Thursday, depending on what day you're going over this, with some details about how to draw lines and a whole note. And let's see if this works, and hopefully you guys picked up a little bit. Broom signing off from a remote location.